Hey guys, another day, another Poshmark Q&A. It's actually not another day. <laughs> I am on my pre-film and grind. So I'm trying to get videos pre-filmed before this baby gets here because it is countdown to, <sighs> to baby time. Check out my vlog channel because I'm doing updates on there. I'm actually gonna film a pregnancy update after this video. This video probably won't be out for another I don't know. It's not going to be up for a while, but just check out my vlog channel, okay? You can see the stuff that you missed. Okay. Questions. Guys, I've gotten so many questions lately, which is great because I'm trying to pre-film and... Hello. First question is, any chance you would consider doing a video on tips for posting on Instagram to promote your posh closet? Yes. I mentioned in a previous video that uh, if you're not promoting your Poshmark closet on social media, then you're losing money. Like you just, it's something that you need to do. Um, but yeah, I can definitely make a separate video talking all about... Um, like I'm going to do uh, probably not just Instagram specific, but I'll include Instagram and like YouTube and Twitter and Facebook and Pinterest too. Pinterest is another one I'm trying to get into, trying to get into the Pinterest. I can definitely do a video talking all about that for sure. Okay. Next question. Oh, it's from a girl, Deborah. Hey, Vanessa, quick question. I know you said you started selling on Mercari. However, the shipping is very different. I feel like I need to weigh every item so that I get the cheapest shipping rate for the product. What method do you use? Do you ever weigh your products for Poshmark? I have run into issues with bundles where a pair of boots and a pair of shoes and a jacket are over the five pound limit and I had to pay the difference. Should we weigh everything before we send the offer or accept it? P.S. I love my two sweatshirts and wear them often. It's from Deborah or Debbie C on Poshmark. I'll link her closet down below. She always comments. She's so sweet and she's purchased from me before. Yeah, you are awesome. Um, so yeah, Makari, Makari. I did mention that I have been selling on Makari, um, but I think I'm gonna change things up a little bit. I think I'm just gonna sell like hard goods on there and not clothing because I have better luck with hard goods. Like I sold my old computer and my old camera on there both within 24 hours. And the clothing that I've had on there, like I've sold, actually I've sold shoes on there too. But the clothing that I've had on there, I think I've sold like one sweatshirt. Now granted, I don't put effort into Macari at all. Like I just list things and expect them to sell. So that could be the problem. Um, but yeah, I just, uh, I don't know. I like Poshmark because it's just so easy. Um, and as far as your question about weighing things, yes, I do weigh things. I do weigh everything. Um, I have a little scale that I got from the post office. I think it was like 30 or 40 bucks. Um, so yeah, I do weigh things for Macari because shipping is different. Um, and I agree, you want to try to get the best shipping rate possible. Um, and as far as Poshmark goes, um, I can pretty much tell if a bundle is going to be over the pound limit. Um, and then I determine whether or not I accept the offer based on that. But definitely invest in a scale if you haven't already, because that is a very important reseller tool to have. Hi, Vanessa. I follow you on YouTube and your channel is so helpful. I have a question about upgraded shipping. I thought maybe you could address it. After a year of reselling on Poshmark, I'm just now finding out that if you choose the make a new shipping label option, you as a seller are responsible for the entire shipping cost. WTF. I thought I would only be paying the balance of 705 or whatever the hell it is. You've said before that you take your packages to the post office and pay the difference there. I just think this is shady on Posh's Park and I feel stupid for not knowing this. Am I the only one? Wait, what? You're only responsible for the cost if you upgrade the shipping label, not if you just create a new label like let's say they needed to change their address and you have to create a new label um you don't have to pay the shipping cost it's only if you upgrade it are you are, are you confused or am i confused <laughs> if you upgrade to six pounds you pay a difference of 3.99 for seven pounds you pay 7.98 for eight pounds you pay 11.97 for nine pounds you pay 15.96 and for 10 pounds you pay 19.95 so yeah the but not poshmark sorry <laughs> the buyer pays or however you did it if you gave a shipping discount um but the first 7-Eleven is, is taken care of. When you upgrade a shipping label, you're just paying the difference. I think there's a little little bit of confusion, um, but you're right. If I upgrade a shipping label, um, usually if it's over 10 pounds, then I that's when I pay the difference at the post office. So I'll upgrade to the full 10 pounds on Poshmark and then pay the difference, whatever it is at the post office. And this is a long one. Okay, so love your YouTube. Thank you. I recently had a freaky... Freaking creepy experience on Poshmark and wanted to ask you something. So I had a guy make a bundle and tell me how beautiful I was and then made a lowball offer on the jacket, right? Swoon. <laughs> Anyways, I just ignored it altogether because I didn't feel like dealing with the creep. The next morning he asked if I had received his offer. 
I just kind of said, oh, hey, I must have missed it. So sorry, I'll send an offer now. I was hoping he would get the hint that I have a Poshmark as a business, not a Tinder, <laughs> not to mention I'm married with four kids. Anyway, I sent a reasonable offer thinking he would decline or ignore it, and he accepted. He then came on the bundle conversation and said, I accepted your offer. Please send a beautiful picture of yourself with a thank you note. I was like, oh, hell no. I immediately canceled his order, blocked him, and screenshotted everything and sent it to Poshmark. Anyway, the point I'm getting at is can I get a P.O. box for my Poshmark business while still keeping my personal address for everything else I have coming to my house? I'm seriously so uncomfortable with having my home address going out to potential weirdos like that. Thank you, Vanessa, and good luck with the rest of your pregnancy. Thank you. Um, so yeah, that, that sounds like a weirdo. Um, I mean, I have had, okay, just, just totally being honest here. I have had um, some gentlemen buy some of my clothes, like buy some of my women's clothes. And I mean, not going to lie, honestly, it kind of freaked me out at first. Like I was like, eh, this guy a creep. But um, I know for certain one of the guys just like to wear women's clothes and it's like totally fine. Totally fine. I don't like do whatever you want to do. That's cool with me. But I have had a couple of creeps. This guy definitely sounds like a creep. Um, You know, if, if you're a guy and you want to wear women's clothes, then that's again, that's perfectly fine. But just leave it at that. Like you don't need to be weird and say like, send me a picture of you too. Like, no, no. Uh, so I think he did the right thing by canceling. I totally would have done that too. Um, as far as getting a PO box, I would 1 million percent recommend getting a PO box. Um, I've had a PO box for many, many, many years now. Back when I started first getting sponsorships for companies, I just got a PO box because I don't want a million companies like, you know, knowing my address and having all my business out there. So yeah, I've had a PO box for many, many years. And then when I started reselling, um, I obviously use that as well. I use that for um, shipping things and when I buy things on Poshmark because I don't know, it's just, it's 2020, it's a crazy ass world. But certainly for Poshmark, everything goes through my PO box outgoing and incoming as well. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend doing that. Um, there's different options you can get. I think I pay like 60 a year for my PO box. 60 or $80 a year. There's different sizes you can get. Um, but yeah, it's, it's totally worth it. I mean, obviously it's a hassle to have to go to the post office as opposed to getting your mail, you know, like right at your house. And yes, I totally recommend getting a PO box. And that is it for this video. I hope I, what? <laughs> I've been messing up my outro lately, guys. What's going on? It's pregnancy brain. That's what's going on. Um, I hope I answered your questions. If you have any other questions, you can feel free to comment down below. You can send me a DM on Instagram. You can tweet me on Twitter. If you're new to Poshmark and you want to sign up, you can use my code. It is keeping it rad. If you use my code, you get a $10 credit and I also get one. So thank you very much. As we're getting a huge snowstorm this weekend. So keep your fingers crossed that I don't go into labor this weekend because that would be my luck to go into labor in the middle of a huge snowstorm and not make it to the hospital in time. I have to deliver the baby in the car myself because my husband would surely pass out. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video.